this is uh, indisputable with Dr. Uh, Rashad Ritchie. And the title of this video is Black City Official and Husband Brutalized by Cops and Traffic Stop. Let's go ahead and play this. City official and husband brutalized by state police. Look at this. They are. That is my husband. That's my husband. That's my husband, please. It's okay, baby. That is my husband. It's okay. Go, baby. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get hit. Do not I work, I work for the mayor. I work for the mayor. Go. I work for the mayor. Go. Please just stop. No. It's because I'm black. Would you please? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Give me Stay right there. I am. I can't go anywhere. What is happening? Don't worry, but I don't know why this is happening. Okay. We ain't done nothing wrong. It's done. We ain't done nothing. He just punched me. He just punched me. He just punched me. It's okay. What is going on? Another one that is extremely difficult to watch, difficult to listen to. Imagine how she felt, how he felt. Investigation is now underway after Selena Morrison, city's executive director of the Office of LGBT Affairs. And her husband, Darius McLean, taken into custody Saturday morning after a confrontation with a Pennsylvania state trooper on the Vine Street Expressway. The video of their arrest captured by. Now, I hope y'all heard she said LGBT. So you already know what's coming with that. This, they really messed up. I Morrison, posted by her sister online, quickly circulated on social media. Morrison yelling at one point, I work for the mayor, I work for the mayor. Where the trooper can be heard telling her to shut the F up. When the trooper turned to arrest Morrison, her phone appears to be knocked to the ground. She can be heard saying, he just punched me. There's more. Morrison 51 has been the city's executive director of the Office of LGBT Affairs since 2020. Becoming what officials at the time believed to be the first openly transgender person to lead any city office or department. McLean 35 is the chief operating officer of the Philadelphia based William Way Community Center and director of the Arcilla Adams Trans Resource Center. Philadelphia Inquirer with the details here. Mayor Sherelle. L. Parker addressed the incident later that day in a statement on X. Here it is in part. Earlier today, a Pennsylvania State Trooper executed a car stop on the Vine Street Expressway, reportedly for a motor vehicle code violation. Selena Morrison was in the vehicle that was stopped. Video circulating on social media that depicts a portion of the incident is very concerning to me, and I will have no further comment until the investigation has been completed. That from the mayor of Philadelphia. For ABC six action news, next steps regarding charges and how Mayor Parker on the left responds, all hinge on the result of the district attorney's investigation. District attorney's office is asking for the public's help in collecting more evidence, including video, photos. District attorney Larry Krasner on the right has said his office will not make any charging decisions until a thorough, even-handed investigation is complete. State police initially filed several misdemeanor charges like resisting arrest, obstruction of justice, summary charges against the couple, but the charges were declined by the district attorney's office pending additional review. Mm. Said the agency spokesperson, Lieutenant Adam Reed, couple released from custody Saturday evening. Let's give you more details if we can about this traffic stop because there's always always more to it. 
and such is the case here. Now, state police said just after 9 a.m. Saturday, a trooper stopped Morrison who was driving a gray Infiniti sedan after observing multiple vehicle code violations. Reed said Sunday that the car's registration was expired and suspended. Its windows were illegally tinted. <laughs> Headlights were not illuminated in the rain. And you, you see where we're going with this, don't you? This is my commentary now. You see where we're going with this. And Morrison was following too closely behind another driver. Wow. Peel back the decades on this one. It sounds familiar. <laughs> Before the trooper made contact with Morrison, police said McLean driving a green Dodge sedan pulled up behind them. Trooper approached the Dodge and the operator of the vehicle became verbally combative toward the trooper. That's according to the state police. I did hear verbally combative conduct. I did hear that, but I didn't hear it the way the statement reads. Individual refused multiple lawful orders made by the trooper and the trooper subsequently attempted to place the individual under arrest. Individual resisted arrest on multiple occasions. That's another one that comes up a lot, resisting arrest. While attempting to arrest McLean State Police said Morrison approached the trooper, tried to interfere in their arrest. Hmm. Video of the incident, shared online by Morrison's sister, raised questions about the interaction. In the video, the trooper is seen attempting to handcuff McLean, who was lying on the slick pavement near the highway shoulder as cars past. Dangerous. Reed said the trooper was not outfitted with a body cam. That's convenient. Mm. As the program is not yet fully deployed across the state. He said the trooper's vehicle was equipped with a mobile video recorder and microphone. I want to start at the end there, Senator, because it's taking a long time in, in a lot of these jurisdictions, at least seems like a long time to me, to roll out the programs for these body cams, you know, the kind that can't just be turned off, erased, that kind of thing. Globally, there's always a reason in these high profile stops, many of them, where we're just not getting it start to finish. Um, would you like to start there or, well, wherever you wish? No, Shane. All right, so here, here's what's going to be the big thing with <laughs> this right here. You're dealing with two, uh, two big problems here. That, that, that's the, two reasons why it's going to be a big problem. For one, uh, you're dealing with two different communities. You're dealing with the black community and you're dealing with the LGBT community. And this stop looks pretty, the way they were being treated looks uh, like that officer had prejudice against uh, this group of people. Even though I think this officer is probably would do this to any and everybody because they're psychopaths and they don't see, they see any civilian uh, as prey and they prey on them. And if you don't follow their orders or bow down to their authority, this is the way they act. But the fact that this person is LGBT or they involved in that community at all, it is going to be major. It's going to be major. And they really messed up. Y'all already know that is a very sensitive uh community and if you if anything happens they are you know you're gonna hear about it and it, especially you have it on camera where he <laughs> that he finished with one person and runs over to attack another person come on man all all this because they they said it was an expired registration uh then they said it was suspended so which one is it? Is it suspended or is it uh, expired? I guess it's both apparently. And so they have, and the tent is too dark and they were following somebody too closely. You know, they didn't say how close, but you know, 
we'll we'll hear more about this story and see and, and uh be able to update you later on it but you know they 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 dealing with a big problem here for one oh another problem is that one that these people work for the mayor so somebody's gonna have to be the scapegoat for, for this like this officer just doesn't know like he's not important enough for him not to be the scapegoat of this situation and you know he's gonna have to answer you know a lot of times he these officers think that they're not going to have to answer for their actions but in this case he's going to have to answer to to these actions because this is not just going to go away you're dealing with you're dealing with somebody who worked for the mayor you're dealing with an lgbt community person and you're dealing with a black person so these are a lot of factors that are going to blow this story up and make it really bad for this officer, which it should be because he shouldn't be running around acting like that. 